Hi everybody, Andrew here. So in this video we're gonna um, continue talking about transform pivots and we're gonna talk about the custom object local pivot. And in order to understand the need for this uh, pivot type, I'm just gonna show you a situation in which you, uh, you might need it. So I'm gonna switch to play mode. You can see we have, like I've modeled a really basic wall here and uh, let's assume that this uh, wooden crate, this is a crate actually, but let's assume that this is actually a door, right? And uh, the thing is, this, this mesh was modeled so that its pivot sits at the center, yeah? So there's no way we can change the pivot uh, of, this, of this mesh object. Now the problem is when we rotate it, you can see that it will rotate about the center because uh, the, the mesh pivot is always the center, yeah? So we cannot change the pivot to anything else. But what we want to do instead is we want to make sure that the object rotates around one of the corners. Let's just say that this is the corner right here where the where the door is actually um, should actually rotate, right, to open and close. So in order to fix this, we can define our own custom uh, pivot for for this object. And I'm going to switch to my my script here, and I'm going to uncomment these lines of code here. So, uh, the first thing that we, we do here is we get a reference to our door object and then what we need to do is we need to calculate the, uh, the door's pivot. Yeah. Uh, if, you look at this, uh, if you look at this object, um, it's, it's currently, it currently has a rotation of zero, but it doesn't really matter. What we want to do is we want to get, we want to get access to uh, the center point of the left face. Yeah? So the left face of the object in world space, we're gonna we, we have to get access to it, and so this is this is the center, right, somewhere here, and we want to use that as the object pivot. Yeah. So the first thing that we want that, that we have to do is we get uh, the object's world object oriented box. Uh, so an object oriented box is a it's like an like a, it's it's a box that uh, encapsulates the object. Um, a good example is the collider. Yeah, you can see that this object has a collider, and it's um, you know the collider is just basically rotated uh, along with the object. This is basically the same as the o o as the OBB here. Yeah, we get access to that uh, box that surrounds the object, and then what we do is we use the box math dot box face center function, uh, which is included with RTG. Uh, to get access to the center of the box of the left box face yeah so we specify the center of the box the size and its rotation and then we specify the bo the we specify the uh, the face that we want to get the center yeah so in this case um, this function what will what we will return to us is a point right here on the left face the cent the center point of the left face yeah um, and then we can use this face center to transform it into the object local space and then call set object custom local pivot to inform the gizmo that this object uses its own custom local pivot. Yeah? So we call set, set object custom local pivot for this object, the door object, and then we have to transform the face center from world space into object local space. Yeah, it has to be defined in object local space. This is why you use inverse transform point, inverse transform point of the transform component. And then finally, what we have to do is just set. We have to set the transfer pivot to custom object local pivot. Yeah. So uh, now, if I switch to play mode. Uh, note that we only did this for the rotation gizmo. Yeah? All gizmos, all other gizmos use the default pivot, which is um, object group center. But for the rotation gizmo, we use the custom object local pivot point. Yeah? So uh, the move gizmo, you can see it sits at the center. But when I switch to the rotation gizmo, you can see that the rotation gizmo will actually be placed at the center of the, uh, of the box, uh, of the left box face. Yeah? And now if I rotate this object, you can see that it acts like a, like a door. Yeah, It opens and closes like a door. It no longer rotates around the center, but it rotates ar around the uh, pivot point that we actually specified. Yeah. So this is just, this, this is just one example. Uh, I've used a door uh, example because it's probably the most common, but um, there's definitely other types of situations where this might come in handy. All right. 
Okay, so yeah, that's uh, that's it with the uh, custom object local pivots. In the next uh, in the next video, we're going to talk about the custom world pivot. All right. Thank you very much for watching. Bye bye.